Hey guys, it's Dee here for the sign of Scorpio for a love bonus reading. So if you follow me, you know that I don't usually um, go do readings throughout the month, just usually the generals in the beginning, but I'm trying something new here. So if you like these, make sure to comment below and let me know um, that I should keep doing it. I'm thinking about doing love, money, all different things. So um, but only if you guys want it. So if you want it, leave me a comment below and let me know that I should continue. And then also, if you follow me, you know that I usually give gifts away uh, for free. <clears throat> so I usually give free tarot readings away in the beginning of the month. But this time I'm actually going to give you a free Valentine's Day gift because it is February, month about love. And I do have a free gift for you at the end of this. So stick with me to the end and I will let you know what it is. And I'm not even going to make you work for it. Usually I make you subscribe and comment, but you don't even have to do that. You actually get it at the end of this video. All right. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a little under the weather, so excuse my coughing. The energy that I'm getting with you guys for the month of February for love is to rekindle, to take time away with you and your partner if you are coupled up. And again, remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, check out your moon and rising signs. And then also, I will let you know if I'm feeling individual messages for couples versus singles. And then if I don't specify, it's everybody, okay? So for the couples out there, I do feel as though it's time to rekindle what you have and to take time away, just you and them, your partner, and get to know each other again. Get to spend that time. I see like cuddling in front of a fire, um, that type of stuff, okay? All right, so overall though for Scorpio, for love, I see the sun and then I see the tower. So we're gonna pull another card on that tower to clarify. But the sun is all about healing. You know, this is all about um, Sorry, I'm trying to get the message from them. Uh, they're, they're telling me like about seeing yourself in a different light. And, you know, we do a lot of healing um, in our membership group and stuff, but, you know, self-healing. All right, what the heck is happening, guys? So you've got the sun over there, but then you've got the tower and the two of cups. <clears throat> so for some of you, I'm going to say in order for you to heal, you've got to let go of the relationship that you're in. And sometimes you know that the tower is like when you get shaken up. I do feel as though for the couples, though. It's rekindling that it's, you know, the tower is about things being built on false foundations. And I think that time away is going to reconnect you, put you back on the same page, because as in a couple, you know, we grow apart. We grow apart, we change ourselves, and then sometimes the other person doesn't change with us. And I'm feeling as though things are being a little bit shaken here. So if you are in a relationship, definitely take that time to rekindle what you have. Get back on the same page. Fall in love again. All right. Um, all right. So let's get some messages for my singles out there. What message do we have for single Scorpios? I just feel like there's love inside of you with that sun. Like, I feel like you have a lot to offer, a lot to give. Um, and like, you actually bring up spirits. Um, not like the spirits on the other side, but like, you know, your spirit. You bring happiness to people. So you got the two of swords, the page of swords, and the magician. All right, so we're for my singles out there that are dating. I feel as though with the Two of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Magician, this is the energy. Like, I feel like some of you are using online dating, and it is just crap. This is the energy that you are left with when you're on the online dating. Rejection, um, defeat, <laughs> no hope, all of that stuff. Um, and even in the dating world, even if you're not online dating, but you're dating, it's like you keep coming up with the players with this magician card there. And it's the page of swords. Like you need to raise your standards and cut out the BS. Cut out the guys that don't want something serious. If you're looking for a commitment, 
Then you gotta let the guys go that look pretty, the one that sweet talks you. Um, you gotta cut those out because those are the guys that are trouble. Those are the guys that you know you want because it's like a shiny little penny, you know, and it's like, oh, I want that. I want that. But in they're not what you need. Okay, so definitely start to really pick and choose a little bit more about who you um, are putting your time with, all right? You've got the Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles here too. So I do feel like some of you... So part of them are telling me to take your mind off of things, like go hang out with your friends and invest in yourself with the Seven of Pentacles here. You know, when you start to enjoy your life being single that's when you're going to bring in the partner. That's when you're going to bring in the person that is um, worthy of having you because you don't care at this point if you have someone. You want someone to share your life with, not to come in and save you, okay? Um, death card. Transformation. That's what this is about. This is about, for my singles out there, um, usually it's a general read, but this is whatever. We're going to go with it. Um, as in both couples and singles, but you guys got very distinct messages here. Um, for the singles out there, the, the transformation that I just said, instead of going after all the guys or girls that you used to go going for and it never works out, we need to step back and just start enjoying yourself and your life. And when you do that, it's like you transform because you're going to be in a position of I'm trying to think of the word they're trying to give me here. Um, Self-acceptance, I want to say. And you're not trying to find someone to bring you happiness. You already have that happiness. And when you have that, that transformation from going from trying to find happiness to actually having it within yourself, then when the person comes along, you want to share your life with. It's not because they're going to bring you happiness. It's because you want to share your happiness with them. Okay? That's the transformation that they're talking about here. All right. All right. Back to both. Let's see. What messages do we have for both? Let's see. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So if you are single or if you're just dating or whatever, pay attention to those red flags. That shiny penny, you know, it's a shiny penny, but a penny ain't worth much, okay? But it's nice and shiny. Yeah, well, it's not worth much. So watch out for the red flags. Don't... Uh, because we usually notice those red flags and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, but, you know, maybe, maybe this is why. Or, and we try to justify them. Don't justify the red flags, okay? And here we go. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This is for those couples out there. It confirms the message right here. Work on the partnership. You know, when you're in a marriage or you're in a long-term relationship, even like six months down the road, whatever it is for you, but... You know, it takes work. We put a lot of work into a relationship in the, in the beginning, right? When it's good. Well, why is it good? Well, because we're putting work into it. And if we continue to put work into it, then it'll still be good. And you'll still be happy. <clears throat> Especially with the couples that, you know, have children. Make sure that you're taking the time out for you guys. Actually, it's this one. And then you have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So again, for my couples, I'm feeling as though do not let the money stress you out. That is probably one of the, you know, one of the main reasons people get divorced is because of money. We fight over money. We stress about money. When we're stressed about money, we take it out on our partners. You know, they're not doing enough to help, um, whatever it is for you. But definitely finances and career are a factor in your love life. So do not stress about money. Do not blame the other person about money. You're, do best, you're both doing the best that you can. And if not, then that's something to talk about, not the actual physical money. All right, what other messages do we have for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, show simple acts of kindness. 
A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. That's one way to rekindle a relationship. You know, if you guys have resentment and anger towards each other, um, maybe due to finances, whatever it is for you, but even just due to however long you've been together, do something out of the ordinary. Do something kind for them because that turns them around. And I want to read this. This might have to resonate with that. Turn on your heart light. It says, allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. When you show acts of kindness to your partner, it's all about, you know, they actually put their guard down. And when you do that, when they put their guard down, they can remember why they love you and vice versa. You know, the energy can go back and forth. Um, I want to pull one more card for my singles. So remember, go back to the beginning, rekindle, rekindle, reconnect, be on the same page. Remember why you fell in love. Lav okay, so it says romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So for my singles out there that you have an eye on somebody, don't just wait for them to come to you. You can make a move. Make the move with kindness. An act of kindness will let them know that you're interested. Right? You take the baby step and then let them take the rest. All right. I hope that resonates with you. Again, um, this isn't, wasn't usual, uh, so, uh, but very distinct messages for the singles and the couples here. But if you like this, please hit the thumbs up button and also comment below and let me know to continue these little bonus readings. Um, and then also, you have stayed to the end, so thank you very much. And I have a Valentine's Day gift for you because I'm trying to share and spread love. So in our membership group, we meet on a weekly basis. And a couple of weeks back, we talked about breakups and ghosting. And, you know, we get a message from spirit and then we go into Reiki. So even though I didn't do Reiki healing here, you're actually going to get it in the free gift that I have for you. Um, we basically, you know, ghosting, which I did not know th that it happens so much now. Um, it's basically when somebody disappears on you. We are talking, 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 everything's great. And then boom, they're gone. And then they usually show up later on. But um, spirit has a message for us f for that. Um, and also breakups. So if you've ever been broken up with, um, they gave a great message in the session that I wanted to share with you, especially in February for Valentine's Day. I thought it was a really good, powerful message for this month. And then also with the Reiki healing, you know, we release a lot of the emotion and trapped energy from these breakups in the past. And it doesn't matter if they were 40 years ago, 30, 20, last week, whatever, it still helps. So I have that for you in the description box below. You just hit, I think it's next to the title. You just hit the little arrow down and it expands and you will see that link there. So go ahead and check that out. It's a free gift for me to you. I want to say happy Valentine's Day. Oh, and if you are around and you are single, um, I am throwing a little Valentine's Day party with free love readings over on the Facebook group. Okay, I put the link, link below as well if you want to join. It's on Valentine's Day night. We're going to have a little party for all our single girls and guys. Um, and I'm going to give out free love readings. So it's at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Valentine's Day night. All right. Much love to you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.